For Pontiac May DDG, aka DDG, had four YouTube channels with a combined subscriber count of 3.2 million and over 7.4 million views on his video, DDG Big Boat Little Yachty Diss Track. Fuck Yachty. I ain't lame, I ain't broke, bitch, I'm bustin'. This me back and I'ma feature Joe Button. Before DDG dropped music videos on world star hip hop like Take Me Serious and Lettuce featuring famous Dax, Fori would light it up across all social media including Instagram, Twitter, Vine and SoundCloud. Daryl Granberry aka Pontiac May DDG grew up in of course Pontiac, Michigan. He was a serious student with excellent grades but his passion for video and music would eventually lead him to drop out of college. His come up was rough with his parents working to put food on the table for him and his 5 siblings. His neighborhood was dangerous. And when Daryl was just 17, senseless violence would see him losing one of the most important people in his life. Still, Daryl, he carried on, focused on his craft, and by the age of 19, he was making seven figures. And his dream of becoming an entertainer had become a reality. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael McCrudden, documenting the life and career of Pontiac May DDG, proud to fame, here for you on Before They Were Famous. Now, for this video, I actually reached out to Daryl, and he was kind enough to share with me a lot of his come up story. So this one's kind of an exclusive. You guys request this video. In fact, it's been one of the most requested videos in the past few weeks. So I really hope you enjoy it. Now let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. And after this video, be sure to check out some of our other bios. And uh, oh, if you haven't already, give DDG a follow on Instagram at Pontiac Made DDG. Okay. What's good, y'all? It's DDG, and this is my Before You're a Famous video. <laughs> Daryl Granberry was born on October 10th, 1997 in Pontiac, Michigan to Tanya and Daryl Granberry. His dad worked at the Ford Motor Company while his mom worked two retail jobs to help pay the bills. Daryl's family said that both his parents supported him in all of his careers. Despite this, his come up wasn't all that easy. He described his neighborhood in Pontiac to me in three words. Ghetto, rough, and dangerous. Short and to the point, but I get it. Daryl grew up with five siblings. He was a well behaved kid who stayed out of trouble and focused on his studies. He was an excellent student with his favorite subject being math, which he described because, well, he likes to count money. Another discipline that Daryl practiced throughout his life was boxing, which he took pretty seriously, training in the ring for a total of four years. He attended Owen Elementary School before going on to International Technology Academy for middle and high school, and he would eventually graduate as his high school's valedictorian, scoring a 4.0 GPA. Despite taking all honors and AP classes, his valedictorian speech is actually up on his channel, so let's take a look. Every single one of those accusations are incorrect besides the first one because I discontinue stereotypes when I put my mind to the task at hand. While he loved school and was a bit of a teacher's pet, he also says he was the most popular kid there and quite the ladies man. He also had other extracurricular interests, he loved playing Call of Duty and got into music from a young age. He told me he's been doing music since he was just 10 years old and it's been an important part of his life ever since. When I asked him what he'd be doing now if he never ended up where he is, well he told me I would be making music which I already am so there's no other way I would be living my life now. Coming up, he listened to Drake, who he is described as his biggest artistic influence. Another passion was sparked for young Daryl when his sister gifted him a camera to film his trip to Washington, D.C. So scared, dog. Uh, shit, real crazy. This video would be his first on YouTube, uploaded to his Pontiac Made DDG channel on June 12, 2014. Now if you're wondering where the name comes from, Pontiac is obviously his hometown. As for the DDG, well that's just his initials. So his moniker is basically just who he is and where he came from. This simple choice was a smart one because it didn't pin him to any specific type of content. And for a guy like DDG, that's a very good thing. While his first video was a vlog, his next would follow about a week later and couldn't have been more different. This time he uploaded a music video for a song he called Ta. That wasn't different enough, his very next video was a piece called Basketball in the Hood. Dang. I can go home now. 
fuck on. All right, nigga, damn. Clearly, DDG had some serious creative range. He would soon be putting out commentary, skits, trailer parodies, pranks, and even spoken word poetry. He also decided to spin off a second channel just for his vlogging, appropriately titled Pontiac Made DDG Vlogs. He launched his first video there on August 3rd, 2014. It was called Traveling Across the States Day One Vlog. Swag at Paul Barn Stadium with the Cincinnati Bagels. Bagels, bagels. That is bagel. If that wasn't enough, DDG would get onto Twitter, Instagram, and as was the fashion back in those days, fine. Of course, that platform would eventually come to an end. On October 27, 2016, Twitter announced that it would disable uploads to Vine. The same day, DDG tweeted this tearful message to his fans. I swear I was supposed to be Vine famous. Now, DDG told me that he really meant that. He wanted to be Vine famous, but apparently it just wasn't in the cards. Fortunately, he would eventually experience massive success on YouTube, but he wouldn't be seeing serious numbers until around 2016. Prior to making it big online, Daryl worked at Kroger's grocery store, making $6 an hour. He would later work at TJ Maxx, where he made a little more money, still the work was boring, repetitive, so he quit working there after a year. Really, it wasn't the kind of work DDG was meant to be doing. He said, I would never want to work for anybody and I always wanted to be my own boss. That pushed me to work hard at my craft. Daryl didn't mind working hard for his money for top marks in school and for growth in his online following, but life did hit him with some things that were a lot harder to swallow. On October 21st, 2014, Daryl's big brother became the victim of senseless violence when he was shot and killed. Daryl describes this as the most difficult thing he's ever had to overcome. A few weeks after his brother's passing, Daryl paid tribute to his brother with a spoken word poem and uploaded it to his channel. So you telling me my brother really dead, gone forever off this earth in a hospital bed? Didn't believe it, not at all. So I went back to sleep. 20 minutes later, my mama comes in, approaches me. This is obviously not the type of content you're probably used to seeing from DDG, but the video is a touching tribute and worth a watch. While the tragic loss of his brother was a serious one for Daryl and his family, they would pull together and he kept on hustling. During these dark times, Daryl still finds ways to laugh. Just two videos after his spoken word piece, he would drop a video called P in my mom's bed prank slash fail. What is that? I could have been doing myself. Where's the camera? While his videos were not quite hitting huge at first, Daryl remained focused on making it big as an entertainer and eventually began to see some growth on his channels. By January of 2016, his main channel had grown to a little over 80,000 subscribers and his vlog channel had about 3,000. Within a year, the main channel would grow to nearly 670,000 subs, with the vlog channel clocking in 370 subs. After graduating high school at the top of his class, DDG decided to study broadcasting and theater interpretation at Central Michigan University. While there, he continued to work on his channel. He also started to collaborate with his then girlfriend, Essence Nicole. On October 27, 2016, he shocked fans by releasing a video called We Broke Up. Sorry. What's up, y'all? Um, let me start off by saying this is not a clickbait. Spoiler alert, it was actually clickbait. But eventually, that relationship would come to an end. DDG would later cause some confusion with fans releasing a series of videos with his supposed new girlfriend. One particularly enjoyable video like this was dropped this August of 2017 called Asking Kennedy to Be My Girlfriend. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Mm, I don't feel like that's the best decision for us. Mm -hmm. But I like you a lot, but... DDG did clarify a bit about his love life for me. I asked him what his relationship status was, and he responded, I'm single, but not for long. When I asked him about his previous relationships, he explained, all my previous relationships were good for the first few months, then went downhill. Once I started making money, even my girlfriends at the time started getting jealous of me. Well, evidently, life would not do much to help him with his jealousy problems. Because by 19 years old, he would be making seven figures. As his success took off, he would soon come to the decision to drop out of school after just a year and a half. He loved school, considered some of those the best years of his life, but he decided to focus on changing in his dreams. He talks at length about why he did this in his video on his vlog channel, Why I Dropped Out of College at 19 to Follow My Dreams. I had to realize, like, I had to step back and realize like, what I had and what, 
well, what am I really doing here? You know what I'm saying? That's when I start figuring out myself. In 2016, DDG opened a new channel, Pontiac May DDG Reacts, which has already climbed to well over 300,000 subscribers. The next year, he'd start another channel with only family friendly content called the DDG Family, which has already grown to over 400,000 subs. On August 22nd, 2017, DDG dropped his most popular video yet, a music video for a little Yachty diss track sent to the production of The Race and called Big boat Harley, 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 Harley. Track raked in over 7 million views. By this time, DDG had a ton of music already out there, but if I had to guess, I'd say this was probably the video that caught the attention of World Star Hip Hop. On October 11th, DDG would be teaming up with World Star and Famous Dex to drop a new music video for a song called Lettuce. The video would garner World Star a healthy 2.9 million views, plus, DDG would get nearly a million plays on SoundCloud with the track. Just one month later, DDG would have another World Star exclusive called Take Me Serious. The future DDG tells me his fans can look forward to more great music, tours, and daily vlogs forever. He also says, I plan on being one of the biggest musical artists and entertainers to ever do it. I can see a lot of M's in my bank account in the near future. You can see more of DDG on his four YouTube channels and be sure to give him a follow on Instagram at PontiacMadeDDG. You can also find his music just about anywhere on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, and SoundCloud. Do you want anything you want to put at the end of the video? Like, follow me or, like I know you're already killing the game. Oh uh, shit, man. Um, you can tell him be like, check out my um new. When is when is this dropping? Like in like two. Video. Huh? In a couple hours. Oh yeah, tell him. Tell him. Uh, check out my music video on World Star. It's called it's called Javanchi. It's G I V E N C H Y. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because, of course, this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrath. Thanks for checking out this video and a big thanks to DDG for helping me put this thing together. Now, I've got two more suggested videos for you right here. Be sure to check those out. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. And always, or as always, let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. Or on Instagram at Twitter at McCrudnap. <sighs> Sometimes here at the end of the videos, I don't even make sense. So just talk for 10 minutes straight, you know. All right, see you guys in another video. Actually, I filmed these by myself too. There's no one else here. It's a little awkward. Fuck yeah.